I've had a little a little bit of a rougher day. Um, I was whatever meds they gave me like last night. They uh, one was kind of for nausea, and it was a newer med, and it was really sedating um, to the point where in the middle of the night when they came to do vitals, they put on oxygen and a pulse oximeter continuous to check my oxygen. I don't remember that at all. So I woke up going, why do I have oxygen on? What's happening? So I was super sedated um, and I couldn't wake up. I, I still, I'm so tired. Um, but I got my, I was, I was saying happy birthday too, because it's my third birthday. Obviously my first day I was born, the second, is my last stem cell transplant in 2016 and today is my third because it's gonna wipe out all my cells so they gave that to me about an hour ago and um i remember last time i felt pretty normal on the day i got my transplant cells so this is a little different i do think it helps my nerves immensely if someone could be here I can't tell you yesterday I was like it's okay I'm gonna be okay with nobody here and today I'm like I wish someone was here so bad like this is called day zero and is it day zero to day 30 are like the crucial days so if you hear me say day zero it's or day one or whatever it's it's the transplant numbers anyway that's my update I have a feeling there's gonna be times I'm not gonna be even be able to record anything or post because I just don't feel good anyway I'm gonna close my eyes again well, I'm feeling a little better um, a lot better obviously you can see that the oxygen is off my nose I had to prove to my nursing staff that I uh, am not a fall risk and that I can be on my own in the bathroom and not as lightheaded. So I did that and so I got to shower, put a little product in. I'm not really going to do the mohawk up here. It's just too much product and work. Yeah. Um, showered, new jammies, super cute. Um, I got a center line dressing change, so that looks good. Charisse, does that look good? Um, and I'm sitting up for the first time today. Like my dinner consisted of cottage cheese and carrot sticks and celery. I feel like a pregnant woman and some pasta salad. So we're kind of random because um, I'm nauseous and I didn't know what would feel good on my tummy. Um, so now next steps are we kind of wait. I wait to feel super sick and it's going to be awesome. Um, I'm already over not having any visitors when I got the, uh, um, my, um, stem cells. I felt, I just felt weird in my body. I felt like kind of pins and needles and super nauseous and I, it was a really weird feeling while they were infusing and it tasted really weird the um uh, what's it called preservative tastes weird so they gave me suckers to have that taste instead of instead of the preservative um but it's amazing like there should be a study i'm sure there's a study on this about um healing and having people around you your family members and how it helps physically because last time I was really distracted by I think Orion and William were up here and they would just distract me and we'd talk and and this I was just feeling all the feelings in my body and waiting for it to go through and felt nauseous and just felt I just wanted Orion to be like holding my hand or petting my hair or something so I'm already over not having visitors yeah it's day two I'm two days up here. I don't know how I'm gonna get through it. This is, this will probably be, I don't know, 
sorry. Didn't know that was gonna happen. <sighs> Hardest thing I've ever done. And it sucks. Wow, I guess I had some emotions about that. I mean, we're Marco Poloing and we're calling each other and um, that's helpful. But when you feel sick or when you shart two days in, yeah, that happened. I can't believe I just told you that, but I don't have family members to like laugh about it, like take stuff home and laundry it. Um, they do laundry up here, but you know, it's just not the same as like Orion would take my stuff. And when I'm a fall risk, Orion could help me and I wouldn't have to rely on the nurses and techs because I know they're busy. Um, so whew, obviously needed to get that out. So, I'm gonna just, I need to watch something funny or something. This alone thing sucks. And that's all I have to say about it. And hopefully I'll, I won't be so teary when I go to bed tonight. I just, yeah, I'm missing my family. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm heading to bed with, um, I just want to sleep for days, so this will go by faster. I don't really have much to say. I'm just, um, really nauseated and tired and feel puffy and miss my family. Anyway, that's all for tonight. Good night.